Good <laughs> bucket head. Perfect for you. Well, Thank anyway, you. it's time for my roast, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. Don't you say worse things about yourself than we can. I know. I know. I love to smell my own duty. <laughs> I do. What are we going to say? I love it. Love my stink. Oh, I can you wallow in my stink. Find something, Jackie. <laughs> All right, so who's going first, Jackie? Jackie, Jackie, you want to go first? I don't care. All right. Yeah, go ahead and go up there and skewer well, me. The it's yeah. time, though. Is there special music? Oh, see, this was weird because Gary came to me and he said... Like this, right? Yeah, well, he said to me, you know, all the guys are goofing on the fact that you're separated. I go, really? yeah. I go, so he goes, we want to do a roast. I said, well, go ahead. I don't care. But when was this goofing I, I never had a discussion I never with him. Heard of it. Can I tell you something? I don't want. I don't. I. I didn't want to be the guy who goes. No, you can't do that. Right. Because then it looks like I can't make right. fun of myself. This was we not brought, something we all put. No, we brought it up in a meeting. and said, hey, wouldn't it be funny to roast you? You, you brought it up. You kept. You put it up twenty times. I brought it up in a meeting once, and you said that's I'm a good idea. Okay. Well, yeah, because, because what am I going to say in front of everybody? No, you're not allowed to do that. This is all my idea. Dying for a roast. Yeah. Stop it. Why don't you just say it? It's not that big a deal to me. And where was all this goofing going? I would not go. He, he's bringing it up every he's minute. Telling me he said he goes, the guys around the office. Yeah, he, says, goofing. he goes, yeah, you know. I think too too much Gary had a whole bunch of material or something. No, I didn't have any material. All right, let's Jack, see. Let me hear the roast. In fact, too much went yeah, right. I didn't even book the roast. Okay, whatever. And then it came up in a meeting. What, what happened to the roast? Aren't we doing that? I didn't say that. Let's now talk. he's trying to cut worm out of it. Right. <laughs> he, he's the one who started all this roast. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I brought it up as I'm not idea. looking for a roast. We all have ideas is, on the show. Is that the only time you brought it up? Get an idea. Let's bring it to the meeting, and then you can talk. I do. He brought it up. I go to you with ideas all the time that you introduce in the meeting. You're an idea it person. Certainly, it certainly wasn't a roast, though. All right. Can I hear the roast now? Jackie, you want to go first? Yeah. Go ahead. Make fun of a really tragic situation. Yeah, go to yeah. the podium. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, headphones. You can wear headphones. He's acting as if he never wanted this to Madonna. happen. He even suggested it for the birthday show. Uh, yeah, and Howard thought it was a great idea. Right, let's go. Let me hear it. Come on, let's go. Let's see what you got, Joke Man. Okay, pal. <laughs> He's getting laughs already. <laughs> All right, you want me to be quiet during it? I don't care. All right, I'm not going anyway, so. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Was it raining? Howard knew his marriage had gone cold the night his wife spread her legs and the oil burner went on. <laughs> what? I don't even get that. It's all right, everybody else does. They do? Do you get it? Uh, late, yeah. It was. I had to think. Well, about explain it. it to me. It was so cold between her legs. And oh, oh, I see. Okay, all right. Go ahead. It's gonna take a long time if you're gonna stop. Sorry. It. Go ahead. <laughs> it seems the magic is back in your marriage. Your house disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's funny. I said, Howison. Howison. <clears throat> I said, Howard, why are you and Allison splitting up? And Howard said. Well, would you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody who's bad in bed, whose body is a mess, and never stops? I don't want your bad mouth in my wife. Bad mouth in me. He's making the joke. All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead. I know where he's going. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. It's touchy, what man, okay? It's touchy. Just, just this was Bob Abu's idea. Over. You know, yeah. I didn't want to do it. Start, start over. Why don't I do it like three times? All right, go ahead. <laughs> because I'm going to miss the joke now. You're going to miss the joke anyway. I like how it's my fault that the joke's not going over. Go ahead. <laughs> you asked Howard and Allison, what? Would you guys wake me up? <laughs> Maybe someone else should go. Oh, come on. Uh, go, go for it. I said, Howard, why are you and Allison splitting up? He said, would you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody who's bad in bed, whose body is a mess, and who never stops whining and complaining? I said, no. He said, neither would she. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Relax. I love you, wife. Good. It was my fault. <laughs> Howard wanted to break up because he was sick of living in a two-story house. The two stories where I have a headache and I'm too tired. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, good. Married sex can get dull, but Howard got to the point where he didn't know if he was using his penis or a tranquilizer dart. <laughs> and we understand that... On the whole, you needed a change. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they went to a marriage therapist, and the therapist said, you shouldn't spend all your time in your underwear picking your ass and watching TV. And Allison said, eat me, it's my free time, I'll do what I want. What? Eat me? <laughs> Allison is going to miss having somebody to change light bulbs, mow the lawn, and put out the garbage. Just like she's missed it since 1976. <laughs> you know that's true. Are right, you done? No. 
please. I asked please the singing finish. psychic if we'd ever see them together again, and she said, at Richard Simmons' wedding. <laughs> Don't worry, Howard. I don't think Allison's going to have an affair with the personal trainer because it would make the pool boy jealous. Yeah. <laughs> At least there's no dust on your balls. What? What? Angie Everhart, just think, in the 70s you were going to Slice Alone's movies and now you're swimming in the same pool, allegedly. What? That's absurd. These aren't jokes. These aren't jokes. These are just the angry ramblings of a madman. And she's, right? And she's a big girl. I bet you have to bang it against one side to make the other side jealous. Oh. What? What are you attacking Angie? Why is she do a thing? You? Oh, joke, man. You're supposed to be attacking home. Yeah. Allison isn't exactly sitting home. Yesterday, a Spanish-looking guy said to me, Yo, Yaki Yoke, man. Tell Howard to tell he's no, no, I bleep that off. Jackie, Listen, I gotta give you the hook. Jackie, I want you to have the hook. You, seriously, you, you, does he have a finishing? Yes, a I do. To the I don't mouth. understand why you're, you're attacking people. That you should be attacking me. Right. You mean kind of like when you attack my wife instead of me? Uh, right. Well, no, I'm not no, he married have anymore. He a wife anymore. Yeah. So don't attack anybody but him. <laughs> attack me. What are we supposed to say? I don't know. I'll you tell you when I get up. What are you supposed to say? Let Gary go. You're done. Let Gary go. You're done. You're done. What is he doing now? He's holding an envelope up to his head. Half and half. Enough. Half and half. 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 What did Allison get, and how much of a fag is your new wife, Ralph? All right. Come on. Sit down. I gotta tell you, Jackie doesn't disappoint. No, he doesn't. He bombs every time. It may not have been funny, but he doesn't disappoint. No. All right, sit down. Oh, sit down. It's smart for you to go first. You know what it is? He always changes his delivery. That's not yeah. how he usually delivers no. jokes. He, he tried something new. He was low key this yeah. time. I saw what was going on. What was going on? <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> you told the audience not to laugh. <laughs> not to laugh. Oh, that was so funny. They hey. set me up. Tell me, honey, did, did they tell me to the left? You guys told me you were going to roast me. I, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm All gonna, right. Well, I didn't, Thank you. I didn't preview his Right. Joke. Okay, good. But, you know what? Are you ready? What? Yeah. I didn't preview. I, I thought we knew. We didn't preview my joke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for me to even insinuate. You should have. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see. Let me see what you have in mind. All right, Howard. You know, this, the, the, the breakup is very sad. Right. Losing a wife can be hard. Right. In in uh, your case, it was almost impossible. <laughs> what? What did he say? I said losing a wife can be hard. Right. In your case, it was almost impossible. I don't get it. <laughs> Lost a wife. You tried to. Lose. Okay. I know you and Allison couldn't agree on everything. You, you shouldn't really. Your jokes, you, you really shouldn't question her judgment. I mean, after all, look who she married. Right. Now I know the separation has been tough on the kids. <laughs> I heard you bought your daughter a divorce Barbie. It comes with all of Ken's assets. <laughs> you know, marriage is a lot like a hurricane, Howard. In the beginning, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and in the end, your house is gone. All right. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, you know, really, Howard and Allison, you guys had an amicable split. You split the house 50-50. Allison got the inside, and Howard got the outside. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't bad. But it's great. Howard, you know, now you have a big uh, New York City apartment. Mm. I heard you finished it by call, uh, furnished it by calling dial a mattress. You dialed one one eight hundred M A T T R E S. You left the last S off for. She got all my stuff. Want to hear some more dick jokes? I really thought it was going to work out. He knew he married Miss Wright. He just didn't know her first name was always. Come on, I, you know, if I want to read the Henny Inman joke book, I can. Uh, before Howard, do it on my own. Before marriage, Howard yearned for Allison. <laughs> After he married her, the why became silent. Yearned for Allison. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funnier? What? Listening to you guys cackle after me saying die. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> but it's okay. Allison said it was okay to leave her, as long as you left her enough. No, all right, listen. I this didn't, is, this I is didn't tell you Jackie's joke. This is going horribly <laughs> wrong. So much worse than yours, Jackie. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, I'll just say, uh, remember, Howard, you know why divorce is so expensive? Why? Because it's worth it. Oh, right, great. Yeah, terrific. Uh, right. Nick. You got any other ideas for this, Gary? Oh, Casey? Oh, come on. This guy's not funny. He's going to be good. This is <laughs> Yeah. This is brutal. 
All right, Howard. We let Fred go. You're a ladies' man. <laughs> All right, Fred, you want to go before me? No, go ahead. You're up there. Go All right, ahead. Howard, go listen, ahead, you're, you're a real important man, so I'm not going to take up much of your time. I know you have a busy day sticking that beak of yours in the dirt looking for ants to eat. <laughs> I mean, that's funny. That's the best line. I love that's how funny. he directs his jokes. <laughs> but he's, he at least is funny. He's uh, got time. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah. Separation from your wife is not the end of the world. Right. It just means that you'll lose half your fortune, and Allison will be boffing a guy with a smaller penis and bigger nose than you. Wow. Wow. First of all, Allison's not doing anything. Leave so, her out of it. That's right, nothing right, to do with reality. It's basis of reality. It's I know, wrong. but I don't like it. All right, all right, check it out. Check it out. All right. It's times like these. When I don't mind you talking about my beat. I know, I know. Yeah. It's, time, it's times like these where you need your friends the most. Okay. Now, take me, for example. My penis, sorry. You guys, you guys are not understanding my situation. Nice. All right, all right, you're, not, you're not understanding the situation. Now I know. Now I know. All right. All right. All right. Oh, you got better material? You don't understand. Right, no, listen, I saying, can't do this. No, no, Seriously. I'm going to say something nice now. Right. Right. No, I don't mind. Like, attack me. Uh, okay, I'm going to. Let me say something nice about you. Okay? Right, right. Howard, you're the most dedicated man I know. It took you 20 years to build your career and 25 to wreck your marriage. Good job, douchebag. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You see that? <laughs> okay. Not funny. Yeah, well, at least it's oh, that's funny. Okay. on target. He couldn't satisfy his wife with two therapists and a vibrator. All right. I heard that Howard and Allison actually slept in separate rooms. Oh, come on. This is absurd. No, no, no. Apparently, Howard's ego took up the whole bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> when he had to move out of his house, he had to leave behind the most important thing in his life. The only thing that mattered. The one thing that was always there for him. It's so sad that his full-length mirror wouldn't fit in the U-Haul. <laughs> I heard all those times. No, I won't do that one. But no, seriously. Right. I feel really horrible for you, boss. The only person I feel worse for is your television director, Scott Dupace. This guy has to buy two bus tickets and a subway token just to find your good side. <laughs> right. okay. That's how it gives new meaning to the word feeble. He once lost a wrestling match to the drummer from Def Leppard. <laughs> all right. He took martial arts for eight years and could barely break wind. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right, you know what? At least he's attacking you. Yeah, attack yeah, me. You're, 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 lucky, you're lucky if you can even lift your, your ass off of Ralph's lips. <laughs> <laughs> your legs are so weak, when you go to the gym and wear spandex, you got to wear a belt. All right. And, and, and your chest is so scrawny, your nipples touch. Everything's about everything's about weightlifting. No, he's all over your no, body. No, no, I, got, I have a special what, surprise. Let's, uh, let's someone else. No, no, I got a surprise. Right. What's that? I kind of knew this thing might go south, so I brought in a special guest roaster. All right. Okay, let me bring him in. Hold on. All right. This is good. <laughs> At least he thought he needed help. Here he comes. Oh, it's Wood Yee. Wood Yee. Wood Yee is going to roast me? I don't believe it. Let's see. Let me see. He needs uh, the handheld. Turn right. <laughs> Stop crying about your wife. You sound like a pussy faggot. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get roasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. Oh, I just that off. Oh, dear. Here's the last one. <laughs> Uh, I gotta bleep it all up. Goodbye, Wendy. Come Thank on, you. you gotta give me a break on that. <laughs> I think I think uh, who's up next? Is there anybody? Fred? Fred, Fred, you wanna go? Fred, I wanna go. No, don't go. It's enough. This is, this is stupid. Right. <laughs> I had to bleep Wendy off, not because of. Oh, I, he was so funny. He was hysterical. But... <laughs> Come on, Fred. I, I, I don't wanna. It's a, this is so. Fred, you can't help this situation. <laughs> this is really. Dumb. Do you want to go, Benji? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll go. All right, let's. Do you want to go? Why don't you? Want to go, know? Fred? I'll give you. I'll give you my opening thing. All right, go ahead. And my closing. All right, go ahead. Because I'm so bored by the rest of this. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind if you roast me. No, I know that. All right. But uh, Fred, are you going to get up to the podium? Yeah, come no, on. No, I have Fred, to run my own like... sound effects. All right, go ahead. Oh, here's sound effects. Uh, I have sound effects. Jackie, Gary, Robin. Dickhead. <laughs> what can be said about our big beaked, long nosed, huge nostrilled friend that hasn't been said already? <laughs> when Howard was born, January 12, 1954, a terrible thing happened. He lived. <laughs> Howard was an ugly baby. When he was born, 
The doctors wanted to add a tail. <laughs> but seriously, I've known Howard for 21 years, and success really hasn't changed him. He's still the same miserable prick that he was 21 years ago. <laughs> Only now, his wife would finally agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we can't forget Howard's wife. Too bad he did. <laughs> Allison Stern, a great housekeeper, because after the separation, she's keeping the house. <laughs> but Howard did have a plan for his marriage. It's called neglect. <laughs> Howard never told his wife that he wasn't good enough for her. He just let her let it come as a surprise. <laughs> That's Finally, a rose, and it's directed to me. Yes. Look on the bright side. Yes. Be glad that your wife kicked you out for being the world's worst husband. Because if you'd stayed in a bad marriage, you would have ended up like Jackie Martling. <laughs> now there's, there's a schmuck. <laughs> Imagine being married to his prize. Trying <laughs> to build her a recording studio. Financing one of her stupid plays. Paying for the artwork on her stupid new oh, CD. How did I well, know she was a star? Rose Ben Howard and wind up Rose Ben. on the yeah. side. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> if, you want to see, if you want to see what your future could have, been, could have been, look over to your left and stare at every wrinkly line in that old drunk's face. <laughs> and be thankful that Allison kicked you out. She is a saint. <laughs> Thank you, you are Marsh. Oh, <laughs> no, that's a rose. No, no, you see, that's funny, stupid. <laughs> Now go sell your tchotchkes. Wow. Thank you, Fred, for saving this <laughs> Wow. How did we come across some tchotchkes? It doesn't matter. It was all oh, funny. That's good. That was a good roast. It's got to go somewhere. I'm with you. Jeez, what were these other guys doing? Just reading Milton Brough books. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want to follow that? Benji, you can go. Yeah, I don't okay. have to go. I'll go. So let me hear Stuttering John. Okay. I hope you get the concept. I do. Do you? Yeah. Maybe John will know how to read. John, uh, 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 preview Benji's. Can you just lose cannon, too? Yeah. You're stuttering, John. <laughs> All serious. <laughs> there are many reasons why Allison left this chew bag. What? What? <laughs> oh, gee. Who is he, Coach? <laughs> Shoot him, man. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason Allison left him is because she couldn't stomach that surf blood. He, he calls a nose. <laughs> ah, you are so bad. <laughs> when it came out of his mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> his, initials, his initials, Howard Allen Stern, H I S, stands for has, as in has a big schnozola. <laughs> Is another word for nose. Why are you talking so fast? Why are you talking so strange? I think this is a delivery oh. thing he worked with. Yes. Come on, don't don't cut me off here. <laughs> when you look at that nose, <laughs> and you say God bless you even before he sneezes. <laughs> When it rains, kids would take shelter under that nose. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I know who uses a necklace for a nose ring. <laughs> I like his delivery. For Halloween, kids used to paint the face on that nose. <laughs> and call it his Siamese twin. When, when Howard got a nose job, they built, a, they built another person with the remains of that nose. <laughs> but, you know, one good thing for Allison is, because besides Howard's big nose, he also has a very tiny penis, so Allison could finally lose her virginity. All right. <laughs> this guy's completely insane. When Angie saw that thing, she wanted to change his diaper. <laughs> anyway, just remember, Howard, you'll always be stuck with that humongous, snot-filled, disgusting nose. <laughs> Thank you, John. Wow. Oh, that wasn't a bad job. Come on. Oh, 
give him some credit. Yeah, but you know what? I, just, I have to say, it was very funny, but he, it had nothing to do with the separation. That was well, he worked at the nose, 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 nose. He was attacking Tommy. I, I, I thought that was good. I didn't attack your wife. Well, no, yeah, I, I mean, attack me. I, I think care. I have to say that I probably suffered by following Jackie. Yeah, yeah. I think you did. I don't think I had anything to do with it. He suffered by saying anything. <laughs> It's hard to rebound off of Jackie. Yeah, tough, man. You gotta do Benji. You can't get the crowd back yeah. after somebody loses it like that. Yeah, with Can Benji go? Yeah, Benji's okay. Benji's, right, Benji's all right. Means Benji gets it. It's yeah, no. <laughs> All right, here's Benji. Recently thin from Nutrisystem. Thank you. Thinner. Thinner. Uh, Howard, I just want to say uh, it's an honor to be given this opportunity to make fun of your pain. Okay. <laughs> We're celebrating an important man, Howard Stern, a man who used to have a key to Allison's heart, but now is no longer allowed to have a key to his house. I don't want to say Howard has a small penis, but it did take Allison two months into the separation to realize that they were no longer having sex. <laughs> I'd like to give you the Howard Stern sexual timeline. From birth to age 12, Howard didn't care about getting laid. From age 12 to 17, he couldn't get laid. From 17 to 20, he got laid a couple of times. From 21 to 46, Howard was married, so he probably didn't get laid. <laughs> From age 46 to 75, Howard, single, could get laid as much as he wants, but too emotionally distraught to act on it. From age 75 onward, he'll be emotionally ready to get laid, but his penis will no longer work. <laughs> Could we have the cliff notes? Yeah. There was a lot of work. Yeah, he should have come with a chart and a wow. class. Are you almost done? Yeah, allergy class. Allison is a beautiful woman, and Howard and Allison have three beautiful, intelligent daughters. You know, with the right stepdad, they could be the family of the year. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, 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 that was a good one. Thank you. Certain numbers seem to reoccur in people's lives. And Howard, I think that number is one half. Half a penis, half a Jew, half a marriage, half his money gone, and at age 46, half his life is over. <laughs> <laughs> After 25 years of marriage, Howard has finally learned the secret to giving Allison an orgasm. Leave her. <laughs> I just got an advanced copy of the TV Guide from the year 2020. Let's see what's on the Cassidy and Cody Gifford show. Why, it's celebrity daughters whose daddies left their mothers. All right, oh. enough of that. Oh. Okay, yeah. Always yeah. going yeah. to fall. Yeah, Always going to fall. That's the one you crossed yeah. off. I, no, I meant... <laughs> is that the one you meant to cross? Yeah, I meant to cross a both of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one I did cross. I, I don't understand why you crossed that one off. All right, leave me alone. Are you, I, do you have a finish? Come on, yeah. finish already. Yes, people yes, people yes. want you off. I yes. can sense it. I'd like to end by quoting the good book, Howard Stern's autobiography, Private Parts. Thank you. The secret of life is so simple. <laughs> if you have kids, you live with the kids. Right. You don't move out on your wife. You stay with her, you bang her 9,000 times, and you're sick of it. <laughs> Nobody follows that. That's the secret to life. <laughs> That's Thank you. Thank you, Becky. Good job. Can you read my man jokes? Good. up. You, 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 you did well. You did well. Give up. Even John was good. John was excellent. Right. Thank God no, for the no, amateurs no, no. here. <laughs> Let me tell you. So who's your favorite, huh? Well, listen, it was all good. Who was your least favorite? It's me, Cassie. I didn't see that. Look, Jackie doesn't do well at Rose. We know that. High pressure situations. I right. Very tough. Yeah, it's hard for him to be funny in that situation. <laughs> when you have to tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way Fred was not animated until he got to me. Right. Yeah, he must have some real hair for you. There's a weird yeah. thing going on there. Perfect yeah, just delivery. analyze, guys. It's a real stupid. It was yeah. perfect. No, no, I thought it was very funny. It was just jokes. It was just what it was. I can take, I can take a joke. It was I very funny. Take a, I thought it was yeah. funny. I, I thought, thought John stuff about my nose point. being the size of a uh, nose surfboard. That was great. And my mother's vagina, everything. We were told to do a roast about your separation. Yeah, thank you. You did great. We were told. Now he's getting instructions. You were the one who decided. I think you did fine. You know, Jackie was the only one who kind of doesn't get it. Well, Gary had a little trouble. Too. Yeah, Gary well, you, well, no, my jokes weren't funny. Jackie's were just plain old angry. Right. Right. No, right. Right. Yeah. Jackie's right. were jokes. Well, Gary had a whole book to choose from. Right. Well, no, no. There's only John, how did you do it? Did you come up with your own material? Yeah, yeah. I just, I just had all your own. You sat there. Yeah. And, oh, that's good. Well, I love that nose good. stuff. The nose thing was great. It was funny. Yeah, it was very funny. Benji too. Benji's Casey, great. Benji was excellent. Casey.
you know, he was a little waffle. He waffled a little bit. I like when he brought in Wood Yee. And Wood Yee was, was great. But we couldn't air any of it. Couldn't air any of it. <laughs> Jesus. He got, one, he got one joke in. Right. Well, there it is, the roast. That's a hit, huh? Yeah, I liked it. It, it, it was that good. Yeah. It was pulled out over. at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Steve, go ahead. Yeah, I would, uh, you know, it's not for nothing, but I waited a week for this. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought that Jackie would have came up with better material than that. I mean, he stuck so bad. Sure, right? man. Wood Ye was better than That's he was. True. I would I would rather listen to his wife's album tied down and, and the Jesus twins at the same time than to have to go through what what Jackie put us through for that, that amount of time. Right. Fred Fred is a genius. Right. Fred, Fred Fred gets definitely gets a thumbs up. But I mean what I think you guys should do is roast Jackie. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put him we on roast him all the time. No, but yeah, that, 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 you, you brought up a funny point. Jackie did a different delivery today. Almost like, it was like a weird delivery, because I've seen it as live act, and it's right. more animated. Right. It was almost like, that well, wasn't Jack. I'll do these jokes if necessary. Right. You know what he was Well, yeah, he didn't want to seem like he was trying. He wasn't confident in the material. No. It was an angry, drunk quote. <laughs> Jackie, why the difference? Why the change? The, the gentleman's straight. I'm just reading my joke. But why the change in the why? delivery? Why not the that? traditional Jackie delivery? Yeah, we, we didn't even get, you know, you didn't even do your usual smile. No laugh between jokes. Kind of no, come on, that's funny. Right. No, you people are jerks. <laughs> come on, you'll laugh at that. Go home, drive it. The door's going to get stopped. You had a different this voice. Right. Everything. Right. So why, when did you decide to change the uh, delivery? Just, I just did, did it the way I felt like doing it. I mean, you attack the guy's wife. I mean, she has nothing to do with what's going on, and uh, which but is kind of what happens to me on a daily basis. <laughs> but you know, there wasn't even any. It was just mean spirited. Nothing. It was not. It was. Shut up. Yes, it was. Put something in your cake hole. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was mean spirited. You're out of your mind. Uh, and, you're, you're, and, and you're, you're as soft well. as you are, daily. And you're not. All right, thanks, Howard. All right, thank you, Steve. Right, I was good spirited, and Fred was jolly. <laughs> yes, he was. Uh, Except when he got to you, then he became you mean deaf, spirited. You dopey bitch. Maybe oh, you come on. That's that's uncalled for. That is, and that is mean spirited. Him, let him, because that's the same delivery he used for you. Right. Oh. <laughs> I think he even called me a deaf dopey bitch. Oh All right. Well, anyway, listen. Thank you for the roast. I'm very honored that you. Howard, uh, right as we speak, a thousand tickets have been returned for Jackie's next gift. <laughs> <laughs> You're assuming that he could book a place that has a thousand people in it. All right. Anyway, that would be Detroit. Is someone working the phones? Yeah, I think so. Why? Everybody's in here. Everybody's in. Who is working? Yeah, yeah. Gadget, yeah. He's doing a good job. Hello. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um, the Howard Stern Rose. The Howard Stern Rose. We should do this again real soon. Yes. Yeah. Like in the year 2025 like 25. Save that no, sign. No, in the on, year fun, 25. Man. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Can I release my band joke on some sort of like pay per view? Yes, absolutely. When okay. it wasn't painful, it was fun. All right. Thank you. And. Uh,